Chaz Pivot from the Baseball Hitting Rebellion. Um, guys, this is going to be my first video analysis as a blog post, so I hope you enjoy it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take Robinson Cano, as requested by uh, the readers, and diagram his swing, and we're going to see how many things in the Baseball Hitting Rebellion that he does. Um, as you guys know, Cano is one of my favorite hitters, and I've got a ton of video on him, but I actually found this video, um, and I have not watched it yet. So we're actually look. I loaded it up. We're looking at this from the first time um, together. So here we go. Let's see what he does. We're just going to go right through the articles and see. So let's see if he anchors the back foot with a double inside load. So as we come through, play it in slow motion. So right there, we've got that double inside load. Okay, and he's riding that back leg out. There's the strong anchor. Okay, weight on the inside of that back foot. All right. Now as he starts to see if he starts to turn those hips, and we know he does. So there they go. Right here, you can see the shoulders still straight, but the uh, belt buckles all the way up here. You see these big wrinkles in his shirt. That's the hip thrust we're talking about from the abs. And let's see. Oh yeah, just comes right up through it, just like we love. Okay, great. And you can see the exit exit of this ball. Uh, I think he hit it pretty well. What do you guys think? Well, good. So he definitely did double inside loaded. He definitely had that that good thrust from there. Now let's check his bat path. Let's see what we got. All right. So there he's in. All right. Foot hits. Let's check his path. So you can see he's starting to turn those hands down. Starting to turn those hands and pivot that barrel. Here's his barrel here. And he comes up to it. That's beautiful. So as you guys can see, this pitch is a little bit elevated, but I do want you guys to notice that back here, if I fit this to curve, Back here was a lower point than contact. I'm actually just below contact on that dot, so contact's a little higher. But behind his butt, above his ankle, was the lowest point of his swing, right here. And there's that upstroke we're talking about, because as you see the ball come in, I mean, you can see the angle of the ball coming in. So he wanted to get his barrel back here, okay, so that as he goes through the hitting zone, as he goes through this hitting zone, he gets the barrel real deep and just comes right up through that ball. Boom. That's just beautiful. Well, good. We got that, too. All right, let's move on. Uh, four deep. Let's see if he keeps his weight, hands, eyes, and point of contact deep. So let's play it a little full speed. All right, so front foot hits. That's good. Eyes are tracking in. Now, the weight might look forward there to a lot of people, but you guys have to understand, his weight's still back, and here's how I know that. He's off the ground here, but he's leaning back. So watch, once, his, once he hits this ball and he finishes his swing, he's, all his weight is caught on his back foot. If he were moving forward, okay, and, and he was actually really waiting, like putting all 205 pounds on his front foot, his leg would be vertical, okay, and he would be able to stand on that front leg at the end. Let's look at this depth here. We got solid depth at contact, beautiful, okay. We've got the eyes right on behind the barrel, even that's probably where his nose is, so he's in the path of the ball. We talked about that. All right, we see his knee in front of his belt, and then when I erase all this to you, as we go through, we see him catch himself on that back foot, and his weight actually moved backwards, okay? So right here, he 
catches himself. Uh, there it goes. There goes his weight back. So all four are back there. Uh, I diagrammed it very briefly, but we wrote an entire article on vision, so I definitely want to make sure that we're noticing how still his head is. I'm going to draw a little oval around his head. Look at this. It's totally stationary and behind that ball. Boom. Guys, that's unbelievable. So if you've got if you've got lateral movement in your kid's swing or your high school team swing, um, you know, where their head is going back and forth and back and forth. You know, if they're moving through the ball, be like, get through it, step into it, and the head goes to. That's just not what the best players in the world do. And now my favorite thing to talk about with Cano, I want to get it to about right when his foot hits. Front foot touches now. So I'm just going to make a mark where his back foot is. And we're just going to go on through and see how far this thing goes. Now watch him super thrust here. He's not pushing himself forward. Okay, what's happening is he's allowing this relaxation in the legs to allow the um, to allow the hips to really pull pull that that stationary socket through. We want the back hip socket to lock, and then there it goes. He's even up off the ground there, way up high. Look at that! Boom. I mean, guys, let's get serious. That's unbelievable. But, I mean, that's why he hits the ball so far. Remember, guys, he's one of the best players in the world. Your son or daughter is not going to have super thrust in a couple weeks. Okay? If you're using the drive developer at home, if you're reading the, dr if you're reading the drills we prescribe on the baseball hitting rebellion, you're going to get further. And that's what's so cool about the, the things we're able to do um, you know, with the online lessons we're really able to develop this um, quite easily with some of the drills that we give and some of the thoughts we have the kids think about when they're hitting and you can always come back to this drawn up video of your son or daughter just really making unbelievable progress and in the next few weeks um, we're gonna really allow yeah, it, even, it even keeps going look at this it even keeps going we're gonna allow you guys to have a chance to get evaluated by me and get evaluated in the It's Baseball Hitting System and uh, through the concepts we've described on the Baseball Hitting Rebellion and there's even there's so much more to come. Um, so this is a really cool idea uh, that one of the readers had for me to diagram this as a blog post and I hope you guys really like it. Um, this was a fun experiment for me so I'll write up a little bit about it and post that as well but uh, make sure you watch this a couple times. This is This is good stuff. Thanks guys.